Hi friends! Welcome to my channel. My name is Rose. If you've never been here before, this is my channel Rose Talks where I just, you know, I just talk and while I talk I do my makeup or I'll talk and I'll be eating or I'll talk and I'll be doing whatever. So I just talk. I love to talk. So as you know, so my channel is named Rose Talks. Well, for those of you who have been subscribed to me since last year, um, actually I've been doing these videos since like 2019. Long time, long, long, long time, long time. <laughs> and I um, haven't been doing them this past year because life's just been so crazy. I mean, like what has been going on with the world? I don't know. But anyways, we'll get into all that. We're talking about the world today. We're talking about everything. So we're going to get into it. But today I will be doing my makeup while I talk about where I've been, what I've been doing. Talking about how messed up the world is and also how beautiful it is at the same time. So let's just jump right in. I have my tiger headband on. I actually got this from Bush Gardens. Did I? No, I did not. I got this from Family Fun Center, which is like this um, little arcade place in my town that I've been going to since I was a kid. But yeah, it's a little headband. I use it to keep the hair on my face. And I, I'm probably going to start wearing it to Bush Gardens because why not? But anyways, I'm going to get started. So, I don't know if I'll make this like a tutorial thing, but first off, whatever. Primer. So, I don't know about y'all, but things have just been like feeling like weird lately. Like, the energy has just been, like, been off. Um, I don't feel that way today. I felt that way, like, all last week. All last week, which was the week of, like, the end of March and the beginning of April. Yeah. So, I was feeling off that whole week, and I have no idea why. Like, what's been going on? Like, what in my brain trying to tell me, you know? And I tried to reach out to Zodiac people, because I don't know much about Zodiac signs, or, you know... I know stuff about my zodiac sign. I am a Leo. <laughs> so, you know, we are the lionesses of the zodiac. I don't know. I try to reach out to my zodiac people on my Snapchat. I was like, listen, if you know zodiac sign, just swipe up and we'll talk. And they never, they never swiped up. They didn't want to talk to me. So, I'm going to go do my eyebrows and I'll be back. So, yeah. BRB. All right. We're back and the brows are done. I did that really quick. Usually my eyebrows take a long time because my pomade just likes to get everywhere. Sometimes it's like brand new, so it's like very soft and very gel and just likes to get everywhere. But today they want to agree with me, which I appreciate. And now the brows are snatched. So, so what have you guys been up to? Like, what's the four one one? You know, what's been going on? I've just been living my life trying to figure out where, like, I fit in, you know? Anyways, how has the pandemic been treating you guys? Like, honestly, how has the pandemic been treating you guys? Because for me, it has not been great. <laughs> um, I mean, I haven't positive, I haven't tested positive for COVID yet, knock on wood wood over there about the knocking on it right now um i have known people that have been tested positive and it's just like a scary thing you know because my friend he tested positive for it and then me and him hung out and i didn't know well he didn't know either yet and he texted me the next day and he's like hey i have covid and i was like oh. so i had quarantine and i got tested and i was fine you know, i was fine him on the other hand I think he's fine. I'm not checked on him. He said he was doing okay. I'm pretty sure he's back at work, so whatever. But, um, like, during the quarantine, I haven't really been doing much. Like, during the pandemic, quarantine. I haven't really been quarantining. I've had to work. So, quarantining has been kind of, like, hard. Especially as of lately, I started another job. So, I have two jobs. Those jobs. And I, you know, it's just... It's life. So... <laughs> It's life. You just gotta, you just gotta roll with it. You just gotta get in there, and you gotta grab life by the throat and tell it who it is, man. Because this life is yours. 
You're not life's, life is yours. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm inspirational as crap today. <laughs> so today I was thinking that I would do a look with green because I have really just been feeling the color green lately. I don't know what's been happening, but green has just been my go-to color and that's okay. So I'm going to be using these two palettes. My, it's kind of messy on the front, so let me find it. But my Trendy in Tokyo palette from BH Cosmetics. I love this palette. Hang on, let me just show y'all real quick. Neon. Neon to the T, right? Awesome. And then my best friend's Amanda, she got me this palette. It's the Masquerade Mini. This brand is called Julia's Place. Mm. And this is how it looks on the inside. Let me just get to it. That's how it looks on the inside. Ooh, so I'm gonna be using this green here. I'm looking at the camera, so it's like reversed right here. And maybe some of the pinks, but we're gonna see how this turns out. And now, let's get started. I just cleaned all my eyeshadow brushes, so they should be nice and ready for us. <laughs> some of them are still a little dirty, which is fine. I mean, what else do you expect? I mean, like, I have like this one thing where you put it in and it like spins, and you take it out and it spins dry. And like, that works most of the time, but sometimes it doesn't. And it just makes me sad. First, I'm gonna be going in with this brush. And it's red, so I guess this one's not one of the ones I cleaned. <laughs> so right now it's red. And I'm gonna go in with this light green color. It's lime green, it's under the name Wasabi. So it's this color here. This one. Oh my god, the freaking camera is so reversed, I hate it. And then we're just gonna get started. So yeah, like I'll say like point like, the pandemic happened. I don't know if you guys have been trying to date during this pandemic, but it's literally the worst thing in the world. I feel like everyone is like going stir crazy at their house that they're just like, oh, let me go on these dating apps and get out of the house. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So like in the beginning of 2020, I was dating a lot. Like I was going out a lot and I was just, you know, trying on my boo. Um, I still don't have a boo. I still have not found my boo. And that's okay because I am my boo. There just been like some crazy people out there. I must pray that he's leaving here. But yeah, there's crazy people out there and I just don't really trust them. So I'm not circling in with this color bamboo. It's green color, it's dark green. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, dating is fun, but lately it's been not fun. It has been excruciatingly painful. <laughs> and the reason for that <laughs> is because I feel like no one lately just really takes it seriously. I'm just not, I know I'm not really ready for a relationship right now, I'm not in the place for one. I mean, they're still fun. Like there's, it's still fun to like get to know people and you know get a little kissy here and there like it's fun but i was in a relationship like two months ago mm -mm. it was not it it was not it i think it's just like especially during these times like while everyone's getting sick and we're all trying to like find our new normals that it's just time for us to like kind of find ourselves and it's time for us to, I don't know, at least be at peace with ourselves and not try and find happiness in other people. I am preaching to the choir today. Woo! But I think that's very important. I used to really find my identity in other people. Um, I used to only care solely on what other people thought about me. And please believe me when I say if anyone ever comes to you and they tell you, Oh, I don't care what that person thinks about me. They're lying. Okay, they're lying because everyone cares, but other people think about them. Some people just care less, okay? So you, you know what? I just think it's a bunch of bull hockey. Like, I mean, I care what other people think about me, but I care about what I think about me more. Like, that's just how you're supposed to do it. You can care what people think about you. You can... You can blah, 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 blah. Let me just rewind. You can care what other people think about you, I think the key is just, you have to care more about yourself. And that's really just the beauty of it all, ain't it? I don't know, man. Things have been wild. 
especially up here in Florida. I do live in Florida, y'all, and it's crazy. I mean, like, because the governor, he knows the pandemic's here. Like, we all know it's here. We all know people are dying. It's like, why don't y'all just, why don't y'all just go out and party? Like, y'all deserved it. I'm just like, all right. So I'm now going in with the super pretty, shimmery, darker green. And it's called Molly, Mally? I don't know, it's this one here. And yeah, I'm just wearing that like on the outer creases. I, don't, I mean, honestly, I really hope that you guys can like see what I'm doing because I can't really see what I'm doing in the camera. I have like a little mirror right here. So I really hope that you guys know what I'm doing. Honestly, this is a look. I'm, I just have been like really feeling the color green lately. I don't know what's been up with the color green, but lately I've just been like, I really love green. Like not green clothes, like green makeup. Like, I don't know why I've been like loving it so much lately, but also I love Blue's Clues, like the show Blue's Clues. <laughs> this is like, it's, it's related, hang on. I love the show Blue's Clues. I watched it when I was a kid, it was my favorite. And there's this website that I've been like keeping an eye on and they're called Dumb Good and they sell, they sell clothes and they came out the Blue's Clues collection and they have Steve's striped green shirt. And I really want it, but it's like collared and I feel like it would just like, kind of look weird on me, but. All right, so now I'm going in with NYX's liquid eyeliner. Um, it is their, matte liquid liner it has a very thin brush i'll show you it's why i like it a lot we need our eyeliner thin y'all unless you want it thick up to you it's makeup it only washes off that's how thin the brush is i don't know if y'all can see it hang on let me do the thing again okay <laughs> i'm so bad at that but i'm just gonna brb for a second and i'll be right back okay i'm back hello <sighs> So long, it took so long, and I made it kind of thicker, which is not what I was going for, but I kind of like it, so it's okay. Now I move on to the face. Now I'm just kind of going in with this color, Giza, Giza, I don't know. My pronunciations are horrible. You'll find that as you watch me later on. My pronunciations of things are horrible because I pronounce everything the way it looks, not the way it's supposed to sound. So I'm just using that to highlight my brow bone and also to get in the inner corner here, right here, to fill in some space and to just give me some extra shininess because I love glitter and I love to stand out and I love being shiny. Oh, already she snatched, looking good. I can hear my dog running out, running around in the hall looking for me. Because she can hear my voice, but like she can't like see me, so she's lying. Where's mom at? So I do like get messy with my concealer because I really just need it to get on there. <laughs> and I'm gonna take my small, my, the, the way I say things, my small sponge, not my small sponge. All right, my small sponge, and we are just going to get around here, conceal our under eyes, and all right, we're looking so much better. Now we're gonna go in with our foundation. So like, I don't know if you guys have really like, you know, what am I trying to say? found any new crafts to do, but I started getting into this thing called diamond painting. I don't know if y'all ever heard of it, but it's like when you, it's like a paint by numbers, but it's like gems instead. So it comes out like all shiny and nice. So basically it's like, when you get the paint by numbers, it has like the picture and then there's painted in by the number, obviously, hence the name. Um, for Jim, for the diamond painting, they give it to you and then it's like already like colored in and it has like symbols on each like square or circle where you're supposed to put it at. And then it has like a chart on the side. So you know which gem goes where according to the code. And I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Some people sell them for like really expensive though. 
like if you go to a Hobby Lobby, um, they have some that are good prices, and then they have one that's like sixty dollars. And I'm like, y'all don't like to spend sixty dollars on this. I like it, but I don't know if I like it that much. My nose just decided to start running out of nowhere. Ugh, I love that for me. I just love it so much. I'm really feeling this eye. So I actually did try to film a video before this, and I did film a video. Um, when I got to editing the video, I just like did not like it. Like, I don't know what happened. I just like got to it. And I was sitting there editing it, and I was just like, should this really be the video that I come back with? Should this really be the video that everyone sees after me being away for a year? And it just was a no-go. In case y'all are wondering what it was, it was a look inspired by one of my favorite movies, Coraline. So it was a look with yellow and blue and all that stuff and it was really nice you know it was nice i really did love the look even though i like washed it off immediately after i did it because i was sitting at home all day and i was like i did not want to be wearing makeup i'm just sitting in my room if there's one thing i hate it's when i'm laying in my bed and i have makeup on and my makeup transfers to my pillowcase and i'm like I mean, that doesn't happen too often, but it happens if I'm sleeping really hard. Like, if I take a really, really good nap, and then I'll wake up and be like, what happened? And my face will be like, eh, and you know how it is, so. And it's really in the contour. If y'all want to know, like, what products I'm using, um, I like my face products. I haven't really been going over them. I don't know, but... Um, I've been, I became like an affiliate for this brand because, um, it's a cosmetics brand, so it's because makeup, because cosmetics. Um, basically, I like them because their makeup is really good, like, as you can see, my foundation looks flawless, as always, hello. The makeup just like goes on really smooth and nice, it lasts me all night, it doesn't make me look like an oily person, you know what I'm saying? Like, it makes me look nice. So this bronzer is actually by them. It says because right there. It's in the um, shade Totally Tan. I like being tan, you know. <laughs> I think I'm so funny, don't I? So we are just gonna get up in there. Get up all up in there. Get up all up in there. There we go. Gotta get the sound effects in there. And now that everything's coming together, it's time to get our baking powder. This is from Morphe. Um, it's their translucent powder. Just a normal one. I really like it. They also have like a banana powder, but I don't use that. I mean, I don't really, I've never like really looked into what banana powders are. Don't tell anyone though. Don't tell anyone, that's why I whispered it. Don't tell anyone. But now we're just gonna go in here and bake under our eyes. Not only do I love like the sheer like luminescent look this baking powder gives me, but it makes it really just sets my under eyes and it really just makes me feel better about my under eyes because my under eyes crease a lot and they make me upset because they crease a lot. And um, this stuff just really helps with that. So kudos to you, Morphe. I really do like this baking and setting powder a lot. So thank you so much for that. Not like they sent it to me or anything, but just thank you for making it in general. I'm just thank you. And I'm just gonna let this sit for five minutes. These are all this is while I'm doing this, I usually do my hair. But I'm not doing my hair today because I'm not really going anywhere special. I don't feel like doing my hair. So like because of the pandemic pandemic? Wow! I really could not just could not talk today. During the pandemic. I was supposed to go to three concerts, which was Palsy, Front Bottom, so those are my babies. And um, who else was I supposed to go to? Palsy, the Front Bottoms, but Black, and I won't say Black Bear, but Black Bear was going on tour of Palsy, so whatever. But yeah, I was supposed to go see them. And then um, Corona said, no, thank you. I'm right here. And I was like, huh? Oh. So I had to get a refund on my tickets and all this stuff, and you know. So I really just have been working. Um, I get a tattoo on the 30th. I have five tattoos so far. I have a cross and a semicolon on my hand. Can you see it? There's a semicolon there. 
and then the cross is here. And then I have this set tattoo here. You can't really see it, um, but it's for um, my favorite band, The Front Bottoms, who I was supposed to see last year before COVID rudely interrupted. They didn't release a tour, but they released an album, so I figured they were going to release a tour. And they didn't because of COVID. And then I have a rose on the back of my neck. And I have flowers on my rib cage. And my next tattoo I'm getting is for Mac Miller, who is my baby. I love him. My favorite rapper. Rest in peace. I miss him every day. But yeah, tattoos are always so fun. I'm so excited to get one. All right, it's been five minutes, so we are going to take this off. And basically what it does is just eliminates the area and just blends your contour more. It just makes you look better. I don't know how to explain it, but it just makes me look good. Ooh. So now we're going to go in with our blush. And I don't know why, but my nose just like started to start like running on me. So pretty sure I said that earlier, but yay. I'm going to go in with my blush. If you guys do want to buy makeup from me you can go to my website because cosmetics.com slash rose and you will find my affiliate page there um you also find the products i've been using um which i can put them down in the description box but um this is their blush in the color pink Rev reverie reverie like i said i don't know how to pronounce things but that's it there and this is what it looks like which i really have been loving blush lately and I don't know why, because I used to really not like blush, I used to not wear blush, or I would wear it, but I would like barely wear it me, and now I'm just like really feeling it, like I feel like this really adds like a lot of dimension. And I even put it on my little nose, my little nose. So actually what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my small brush, like this small flat brush, and I'm going to go in with the color, the green that I used in my Juvia's Place palette. And I'm just going to go underneath of it, so I'm going to go under here. Okay, so there's, it is with the green under the eyes, and now I'm going to go in with my highlighter. And I'm just going to finish off the face before I do my lipstick. I did my mascara and now I'm just gonna go with this lip color, which is absolutely one of my favorites. It actually has some of my other lip colors over it right now. My cousins used to get um, amazed at me when I was younger because I used to be able to put on my lipstick without looking, like without looking in the mirror or anything. And they used to be like, oh my god, girl. I used to be like, I mean, what can I say? <laughs> Let me take my hair down. It looks like a rat's nest, but that's okay. Oh, I always feel so good when you take your hair down. It looks really bad right now, but it's okay. So this is the final look. Um, my hair is really flat up here, so don't mind that. Just mind the makeup. Just go to makeup. Just go to makeup. Don't look at me. Don't look at my hair. Just go to makeup. And if you guys are ever too scared to try something like this, like colors like this, just remember, it's makeup. It's gonna wash off. You don't need to keep it on forever. It's not permanent. You know, you need to make a wipe, you just go, woof. Or just wash it off in the sink, whatever does your fancy. But anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun. I will see you guys later. I'm hoping that this will start being a regular thing that I do because I love doing makeup. I especially love talking, so doing both at the same time is these. But anyways, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you guys had fun, because I know I did. Please subscribe for more. I want to get to know all of you. So please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Love you all. Bye!